Get the door, get the door, get the door. All right, next story here is, am I the echo for refusing to go to a child-free wedding if my son can't go? There's a lot of stories on here regarding weddings and child-free weddings and overall entitlement, but I want to know if I'm right by saying this situation differs from the rest or if I am truly being an a-hole. My younger brother and sister-in-law are getting married next year, 2024, and sent out their RSVP earlier this February, February which is when this whole fight started. The invitations include tickets to the wedding along with the dress code and a semi-letter letting the attendees know this is a child-free wedding along with a few other formalities or rules, whatever they want to call them. Not my wedding, not my rules. To make plus, I don't have children. My only kid is 16 years old and I am a single mom, so the whole idea of going to the wedding to enjoy a fun night to myself without kids is not something new nor is it something I've had to worry about for a while. The issue isn't with the rule. The issue is that the invitation originally came with two tickets. And we didn't think much of it because he's not a child. So why wouldn't he be invited? Turns out the no child rule involves anyone under the age of 18. And we found out when my son brought up the wedding during a family dinner. And both my sister-in-law and brother seemed taken aback. Which then led to questions. And then finding out that they had accidentally sent out two tickets. Which then led to an awkward conversation and my son getting uninvited in front of the people present. I'm genuinely trying really hard to understand their side and the fact that it's their wedding, not mine, but I cannot get past the idea of the way they did so and how they made my son feel. Also, the fact that I had my son at a really young age and his dad was never present, so my brother was like a big brother to my son, so I think my son and me are quite hurt at the idea of my son not attending. I would say me choosing to not attend is nothing personal, but I'd be lying. I've been getting called immature, petty, and a bitch. But I think the situation would have been different had it been made clear my son wasn't going to be invited from the start and not get his invitation revoked randomly. So the kid is 16. Yeah. This was written in March. Okay, the post? Yes. Mm -hmm. The wedding is happening next year in February. So that means okay. by the time of the wedding, the kid is going to be 17. Unless the kid was born in March or yeah. literally the end of February after the wedding. Yeah. The kid is going to be 17. Yeah. Okay. One Damn, year that's away some from math 18? you just did there. <laughs> Freaking, that's crazy. I didn't even think about that. Okay, go on. One year to 18? Doesn't that's He's not allowed to be there? Yeah. What I, makes the difference between a 17 and an 18 year old? They can vote. I don't know. Is there any chemical stuff in the brain that makes any difference? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going there. I'm okay. not a scientist. Well, <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Comes back with a low coat, lab coat, and like glasses <laughs> and stuff. Um, okay, so if the thing is like, it's my wedding and I don't want a kid there because we want to all get like, you know, drunk and no, everything. But, okay, then I can say no to that because it's 18 and above. An 18 yeah. year old still oh, can't drink. You're right. 21 plus, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know what, what the whole 18, 18 Unless they're thing having is. a destination wedding like the last story and they're going to Mexico, Mexico, then you can drink at 18. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think. Maybe they just have this rule and they're, because they just don't want anybody under 18 because they think they're going to be like childish. Okay, that's but, what I'm saying. But, What's but the difference it, between a 17 year old and an 18 year old? Yeah, not a whole lot. No. Besides, uh, this, this 16 year old at the, mo at the time. Um, uh, is super close with her brother. Yeah. So they should already know how he behaves, right? They should be mm -hmm. familiar, like, if he's mature or not. So they shouldn't really have much of an issue, to Dude, be quite honest. I think, like, one of the worst parts is that you literally revoked the invite in front of people. Like, that's so shitty. Yeah, that's something you kind of do on the side um, if, you, if you're going to do it. Actually, you weren't supposed to get that invite. When he literally, the reason they found out is because he's literally talking about it excited. Yeah. Oh my gosh, your guys' wedding this year? Oh, you're not supposed to go. Like, why is that the time and the nah, place like, in front rude. of everyone? No, that's not. That's, that's pretty not rude. cool. Yeah. At that point, I would just like be like, oh, whoa, we done fucked up. I'm trying to get him, I'm trying to be on his side, on, on, on their side, the people who are getting married. Just to play the other, the other card, right? Okay. But like, it's kind of hard, bro, because like, I guess you could also go with the fact of like, 
hey, we just don't want to be those people that are like, we created this rule and now we're going back on it by letting my sister's son. Then but, I'll use your words against you. But before anything, but realistically in those weddings, nobody's going to ask you your age. They're not going to be like. Uh, I mean, it's family. It's, uh, I guess you're right. It's family. <laughs> But anyway, this is like cousins. It's two families. Go ahead. You going on their side, then yeah. I'm going to use your own words and be like, but it's their wedding. So they could be like, Whatever okay, we want. said no 18 and under, but we made an yeah. exception. So yeah, what? Just too many things. Um, But I, I want to go ahead and jump over to the, the real, the real nitty gritty of this story. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's OP saying like, hey, like, am I like an a-hole for not going? You know? Yeah. Am I need hope for for taking this personally or whatever? I don't think so. I think I think there's a give and take to things. I think the fact that your uh sister, whatever, or, or brother, I don't know who it is. I think your brother. Your brother and and sister in law, future sister in law, they decided to take the risk of uninviting your son from the wedding then they should be okay with the consequences of the fact that you might not like how they approached it and you're just not going to go. And that's that. It does suck in a way because that's your sister, you know? Like, as a brother, that is your sister, and that's a big part of your family. It's not like it's like a, a cousin or something. Well, but like, you should try to amend the situation and see if you guys can come to a compromise. Something that I've said before is I don't feel, like, obligated to attend things just because, like, that's what it's expected, you know? So to yeah. me, it's like you're asking me to go to your wedding. That's what an invitation is. I can reject yeah. it and you need to be okay with that. And I can say that because on our wedding, I wanted both my brothers to be there, you know? Mm -hmm. And my little brother, he decided that day that he didn't feel like it. So he didn't go. Given our wedding is like, it was super small. So it's not like we had like paid seats and meals paid for like, yeah. you know, that that, that would have mattered like that um but like it's not like i was upset at him i was like would i like for him to be here yeah would i like for him to be here when he didn't want to be here no like i want him to be where he wants to be so if he wants to stay home then that's where i want him to be so yeah if she doesn't want to go then she that's fine <laughs> you don't have it to it is go. fine i think i think sometimes it's a little hard for the other person to kind of like um take that in because like at least for me the way i see it is some things are important and some things are bigger than your feelings so like to me like if my sister i guess my sister already got married if my younger sister grew up and what well, she's gonna mm -hmm. grow up whenever she's at her time and she gets married even if like i don't feel like going because whatever mm -hmm. this her wedding is bigger than my feelings to me the way i take it even if i don't feel it i'm gonna be there because I need to show face that I'm supporting her, mm -hmm. and that I'm, and that th as a family we're like together. Not like if I don't, if I'm not gonna, if I don't go, my my cousins or whatever are gonna be asking like, hey, I'll come out. Oscar didn't come, or whatever, right? Yeah. So like that's kind of the thing where I like I don't really understand the whole like the, the what yeah. you mentioned because it just doesn't make sense to me. I at think all. I'm like um a loner in that thought process. Uh, uh, or you're definitely like, in the outcast yeah of this yeah i just like like the way i see it is i want people to be where they want to be like yeah. ultimately that's where i want them to be yeah do i desire for them to be at my wedding or at my birthday at yeah. my whatever yes like like i do want them to be there but ultimately i don't want people to be somewhere just because like they feel you. obligated like yeah. if you're gonna be happier somewhere else then i wish you the best being there and I don't give a shit like that. Like, I just really <laughs> don't give a shit if like, oh, I want to go because then I don't want people questioning her. Because if people question me, why is not Lalo here? I'd just be like, because he didn't want to. And like, I love your it. brother, by the way. Yeah, my just little brother. for the people to know. Yeah. So if they're like, why isn't your little brother here? Be like, because he didn't want to. And that's the end of that. Yeah. And they and like and like that doesn't mean that I didn't know that he supported me in my marriage. I already knew that whether he was there. Yeah, or not. yeah. I I think uh, I think you're definitely the outcast on this scenario. Um, I do want to say though, it's all about di it's all about dynamic in family because your family knows you, and your family knows your brother, and so they know that like this is okay. 
it wasn't like out of spite that he's not coming. Or it isn't out of like some negative, you know, reason. He just didn't come because he I didn't come. I think just in so, like, general, understand. even if people don't know each other, if they just had the same mindset, I think that that's yeah, a they, better they mindset don't, you to know? have. Even in this scenario, like the fact that your little brother didn't show up, like that's like your family understood, but my family was like, oh, well, you know, like how come your little brother wasn't there or whatever? Yeah. And it's, and, and, and you just and care. you just say, and I get it, but you just say things like, you know, he just didn't want to come. And my family is like, as understanding as they are, you know, they're like, okay, cool. But like, it, and and I get that you don't care, but on my family's side, or at least from my side too, is like it's it's always been like a oh, but like, you know, why not, you know? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I think more people should think the other way though. I feel like people show up places that they don't want to be just out of obligation. Yeah, and that's true. I I think there's too much of that. Yeah, and um, uh, there is this last, there there is an awesome like comment here, and I'm gonna butcher it, or not comment quote of of like um sometimes when you make somebody come somewhere it's because it's it's out of your own selfish desire mm-hmm. you know and out of and the fact that they're there it's almost like you're hurting their relationship because you're making them do something they don't want to do and and that's like that that i agree with you cuz like you're right you know you don't want to have someone force them yeah. at least emotionally manipulating them almost borderline to be somewhere they don't want to be. But they feel like they need to be there. Yeah. Again, it's a whole best debate. You know, it's hard. It's 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 hard. In my opinion, it's I would show face. That's all. Um, if I was her, I would I would show face still. I'd be like, hey man, like to my son. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, bro, you just <laughs> we're not lucky, you know. I'm gonna go party hardy. You can chillax, watch the cat, whatever. <laughs> uh no but all, all seriousness like uh, i would still show face i would still go uh just because like that's my brother but it's okay if she doesn't that's okay she, she wouldn't doesn't. be the ace they she yeah, didn't want she wouldn't. to uh that being said though there is an edit hopefully the only edit am i confused and a little upset my son isn't invited to a wedding yeah sure is that the reason i am debating on not going no my decision to not go is based entirely on their attitude through what's been this month and it's also been based on my son's current feelings if in a year the situation has bypassed regardless of my son going or not then my decision might change but for now i will stand behind my son in his decision and feelings i've totally forgot that they called her petty and a oh yeah yeah. that's so inappropriate like that is inappropriate okay anyone I, i just think that if you're having a disagreement with someone and then they turn around and, and you're like, you're being petty. You're such a, you know, then I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah. never mind. You just confirmed that um, I don't want to be at your wedding. Her her reasoning as to why she's not going is bleeding through her reason why she says she's not going, whatever. Because she said like, oh, uh, the reason I'm not going is not because of my because my son is upset or whatever mm-hmm. and is invited, but because my son feels bad and, and, and he feels shitty that they didn't invite him. But like you're yeah. you're kind of bleeding into it because you you technically are. Doing I get it. that, but first it was because of how they have behaved yeah. since that happened. You know. Yeah. Um. Top comment here is not the asshole. Uh, I mean, overall, well, here is not the asshole. And top comment is, I said it out. Maybe the extra ticket was an honest mistake, but do they really expect the name calling to change Opie's mind? Their mistake. Their shitty response. They're the a holes. Besides, child free means some folks can't attend. It's the choice you make. And some decisions have consequences they won't like. Yep. Yeah, I agree entirely. Anybody who's new who's looking at this video for the first time, subscribe, bro. Join us in this crazy neighborhood of ours. And, uh, you know, just have some fun, silly times with us, man. Hear some Reddit stories. And let's see where the heck this goes. We'll see you in the next one. Laters.